Whiteboard Wednesday. Gentlemen, start your engines. Peter is on the gram, did you know? Um, it's Wednesday. We're going to bust out the whiteboards. Preseason week one officially kicks off tomorrow night and into the weekend. Your first topic is as follows. Rookie that you have your eye on in preseason week one. Kyle Brandt, whatever you're chuckling about, write it on your board. Okay, I Peter, will. Peter, you go. What do you got, Peter? I'm on the gram. <laughs> oh. As you can see, it's at it P. Schrager on Insta. <laughs> If you're just watching Good Morning Football for the first time, uh, everyone else has a 12-year head start on Instagram with me. I just joined, so I'm trying to get those followers up into the double digits. And this is the guy that I've been watching, Malik Neighbors. Yesterday, Kyle and I were at Giants practice, and it was a Malik Neighbors showcase. He was catching was balls cool. on Terry and Arnold, catching balls on Kirby Joseph, and he was dominant. I, the, it's only August 6th, and he is a rookie wide receiver. And yet, when I watch this guy at practice, I'm like, is he the best player on the field right now? He was unstoppable yesterday. And when we spoke to Joe Shane and Brian Dable, you couldn't get the Cheshire grin off their faces over how good he's been. Just a rookie, and yet he's been explosive and he's been dominant. Now, we had fisticuffs yesterday at practice. Does that carry over into the first preseason game against the Lions? We know he and Kirby Joseph and Terry and Arnold went at it. I don't know if those guys are going to be on the field. I don't know if Malik Neighbors is going to be on the field, but I will be watching week one Malik Neighbors because I remember, yes, I do, <laughs> when Victor Cruz put on a show in the preseason oh and made God. a name <laughs> against the Jets. I think this could be the day for Malik Neighbors. A little different story. It's a sixth overall pick, but I can't wait to see Malik dressing up for the Giants on Saturday. Well, Peter, you know who hasn't been fighting? I was talking to uh, Coach Harbaugh last night, Jim Harbaugh. And he's saying they haven't had one fight in practice. Oh, but keep it I, clean at the bolt. But I will tell you, the one rookie I'm looking forward to, and I'm keeping my eye on, is this guy out of the Chargers, Mr. Okay. Brendan Rice. I love it. Um, you know, they got rid of Keenan Allen, and Keenan Allen's gone. And, you know, I'm trying to figure out what this wide receiver, you know, unit is going to look like. I think there's a great opportunity for him to come out of nowhere. I like this kind of thing. He's a seventh-round pick. He's the son, of course, the Hall of Famer, Jerry Rice. And this is one of those guys who I think we're going to be talking about. I know, you know, you like McConkey, you know, over there. But I think this is a guy that we're going to be talking a, a lot about. You know, Brendan Rice, people are going to forget. But when you look at what he did at USC, 12 touchdowns. I mean, the dude was amazing. He had a last year, his last year at USC, he really kind of blossomed. I think he came into his own. I don't think people put him under the same umbrella as his father. So he gets to stand out on his own. And I hope he stands out uh, with the Chargers. Akbar, we have incredible synergy here. I uh -oh. love this because... Chargers, they're going to play on the 8th this weekend at 1 o'clock, and you're talking about a Chargers wide receiver. Well, when they throw it to Rice deep, I'm going to be looking at a Raiders safety, the master of puppets, Raiders oh. rookie <laughs> Trey Taylor. That's the guy I'm looking at. You know why I'm looking at him? Trey Taylor was the guy who had the Mahomes puppet a couple of weeks ago in training camp and had it and did the impression, and there was a— Trey Taylor? Uh, that's the guy. <laughs> Trey Taylor is who I'm looking at. And he's still on the team, Peter. Uh, has he been cut yet for that puppet? No, he's still on the team. In fact, uh, if you look up his draft profile, Lance Zerline says he is a really good player and has a shot at okay. making the team. Um, also, we love this guy because he went to Air Force. Of all the people who would have Patrick Mahomes puppet in training camp and become a viral moment, you think someone, look at that man, that's my guy. He is now a Raider, he is a safety. He'll be going up against that Chargers offense this weekend. If this guy makes the team, and he is as a seventh round pick out of Air Force, makes the team, despite that early video incident that I'm sure Antonio Pierce did not love, that's a real story. That's the documentary I want. That's my guy, Trey Taylor, the master of puppies. He's already got his nickname. That's what I'm watching this weekend. Can't let him be a disposable hero, Kyle. All right, we've all heard Coach talk wow. at the podium. Nice. Jamie, uh, that's a deep cut. You obviously Googled Master yes, of Puppets, and I'm impressed you did the work. <laughs> it's a very heavy song about war and the damages it does to the body and the mind. That's an incredible oh, cut. Disposable heroes. Check in with Back Akbar. to the front. I was going to check in with Akbar to see if you were wow. classically trained in the Metallica references. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, no, so don't. we're going to have the same. Rock band. Okay, no, they're, they're a rock band. You will do what I say when I say. It's don't it's, you have to stick your tongue out when you do that? Don't you have to stick your tongue out. No, that's Kiss. 
Oh. <laughs> um, let's go. Stop. Topic two. Uh, we heard coach talk at the podium. We know coach speak. But every now and then we actually get a coach who's brutally honest. And Jim Schwartz, the Browns defensive coordinator, delivered that this week. All right, we're going to be vague and noncommittal about. <laughs> what do you Here's the question. Yeah. <laughs> of course, what's the question on this one? What do you wish that coaches were more honest about, Peter? Uh, you must have, in your years of press conference attendance, you must have that one thing that you're like, come on, coach, just give me the answer that I wasn't looking for. You know, it's funny. We, we, we talk to these coaches, and Andy Reid is, is one of the greats. And Andy Reid always says, you know, I want these players to be the best versions of themselves. And when he was asked about Travis Kelsey and his offseason, he's like, hey, look, I want Travis to enjoy life because he should enjoy life, and he's earned that. And as long as he's ready on Sundays, that's all that matters. And I appreciated that. Across the league, you ask these coaches about things that come up on social media, and they're always like, well, I didn't see that. Or they're like, you know, that, that's him on his off time. It's it. I wish one time a coach would be like, you know what? I hated the fact that this player went on social media after the game and answered a fan. I hated the fact that this guy, after a loss, was seen at a club doing social media. Yeah. I hated the fact that afterwards, when I said my words, that this player had to give some subtle, cryptic, quite frankly, <laughs> lame tweet that like we're all dissecting. Coach, what do you think about your player unfollowing the team on Twitter? You know, oh, I, wow. I haven't seen that story <laughs> yet. I didn't get a chance. I mean, I, I want an honest answer. I want an honest answer to be like, yo, dude, Stop it. Like, what are you doing? It doesn't help the fact. So I want to hear some honesty. They about saw it. it. He's like, I was, I was on the can. I was scanning. And I saw it. I, I follow him. I was pooping. <laughs> I had my phone open. I saw what this player did. I didn't like it. And I hated it. Yeah. And I hated it. Okay, good. I would love to see that. Um, okay, I want to take over for Akbar because I have one that I think from the top of the show, it totally applies. Specifically, I just want brutal honesty out of Kyle Shanahan about what he thinks when Christian McCaffrey said former teammate. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's what do you, one. was it a Freudian slip? What are you actually talking about? We need the honest answer because when we heard former, and then later in the interview, actually in the same answer, McCaffrey's like, and uh, I really hope he is in the building, and I, I, I want him to be. Christian, what did you really mean? And Kyle Shanahan, we want to know the honest answer to the fact that there was a bit of a former teammate situation that happened during an ITC interview yesterday. Kyle, what do you got? God, we're just we're just kicking McCaffrey in the shins over and over on that. And he deserves it. He can't say on, former. On, uh, this is it's it's the first week of August, I guess. This is a low hanging fruit. But coach, just for one week or maybe just one day, dude, just tell us what we should draft in fantasy. Can, can you just let us know? Can you just tell us? And you know what? There is a comp. I remember vividly. This this is a throwback. 2013, the Buffalo Bills. 2013 Bills. Not a great team. The offensive coordinator is Nathaniel Hackett, yep. okay? And he comes out in August, and this is a quote from, uh, from Nathaniel Hackett. It's real simple. We're going to give C.J. Spiller the ball until he throws up. <laughs> He's either got to tap out or throw up on the field. Let's just put it that way. And everyone was like, thank you. Draft C.J. Spiller. The coach just said he's literally going to have to puke to be not given Did the Freddie ball Did Freddie Jackson anymore. have more carries that probably season? Probably so. I think C.J. Spiller probably got hurt. I hate to say it. But I would just love that right now if someone just came out, if D'Amico Ryans was like, look, we plan to get Joe Mixon 300 touches this year. Great! I will draft him early. They never do that. They know we want to hear that information. If you could tell us about the Cooper Cups beforehand, if you could tell us about, listen, Lad McConkey's legitimately going to catch 80 balls for this year, and we know. <laughs> just say it, please. Just for one day would help us a lot. Thank you.